Hey, Bruce Hurton here and welcome to this lesson where we're gonna be going over why knowing your numbers is so important in your trades business. Now, the reason why I wanna, I've put this lesson in here is because I think it's the one of the most important things that you need to be uh, an expert at in your business to be able to actually succeed and, and thrive and strive in your business. So knowing your numbers, so effectively what knowing your numbers means is that you need to be in control of your finances. You need to understand all of the key areas in your business uh, in terms of the financials. You need to know how much your jobs are costing you. You need, you need to know what your profit margin is on each job. You need to know what your gross profit margin is on the month. You need to know exactly how much you're buying your materials for so you can know exactly how much you're selling your materials for with that, uh, that, that uh, markup on top. So knowing your numbers is effectively being in control and being at the helm of your business and being able to make decisions on how the business goes forward. If you're not in control of your numbers and you don't understand your numbers, and effectively, let's take a scenario. Basically, you've got tradesmen, um, and, and it's most tradesmen out there these days that will literally just go out there, get the money, and probably go into a personal account, um, if they haven't got a business account. But to be fair, the business account and the personal account are generally used as, as the same. Um, but, but it will go into the account and, um, and then that, a bill will come in and then that money will come out of the account if the money's even there. Well, what we're not doing there is we're not doing any kind of cash flow forecasting. We're not doing anything that allows us to be in control of our figures within our business. Now, as you can imagine, if you, if you want to run a successful business and, and the likes of the bigger businesses <clears throat> that are out there today, they don't fly by the seat of their pants, which is a term that I like to, I like to use. Um, they don't fly by the seat of their pants. And what they do is everything is calculated. Everything is, you know, everything is, um, is researched. Everything is, is put down on paper or, or on a computer program so they know exactly where they are in their business. So they know how much they're making out of their business. Um, at any point, if it's a day, a week, a month, they know they can put their finger on the pulse and understand exactly where they are in business. Well, that's exactly where you need to be. You need to be understanding exactly where you are in your finances. You need to be understanding what your profit is on each job that you're doing. You need to be understanding what your profit needs to be to be able to you to pay the bills, for you to pay, be able to pay your wages, your, 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 your staff, your employees, your team. You know, you may not have a team, but you still need to do this stuff so that you can be in control of, of your business and understand, actually, I want to grow this business and I want to take on another job. Well, can you afford to take on another job? These are the things that, that, that where the business needs to know its numbers and you as the person at the helm of your business needs to be, you know, calling the shots, understanding, can we afford that? Can we not afford that? What about if you want to go and buy a van? What about if you want to go and buy five vans? Can you afford it? Can you afford the monthly payments? Can you afford this? Can you afford that? It's, it's all there, you know? It's all there, but you just need to understand it. If you're going out and doing the work and you're actually, you know, you're just taking the money in, it's going into the bank and then you're paying money out and you don't know what you're paying out, you're just paying a wholesaler's bill. Maybe you're not even checking the wholesaler's bill. You know, you're just paying out that money. You're literally taking it in, paying it out without any kind of, um, you know, uh, without any kind of vetting of what's going on in those figures, you are literally on the path to destruction. If you don't know your numbers, you don't know your business. Now, I want to give you a little example. I want to give you, I want to give you something that will, that, that will, um, that you could take away from this. And I want to give you something where, actually, what would it look like in your business if, if you was to increase your prices? Let's say your labour charge. Let's say you increase your let's say you increase your labour charge. So labour labour charge by by ten percent. So let's say that you that you do a five hundred pounds job. So we've got a five hundred pound uh, a job that's five hundred pounds, and the labour element of that is is five hundred pounds. So we've got a materials element of one hundred pounds. So that's a total of, let's, uh, 600 pounds. That's a 600 pound job. Okay, so let's say that you increase your labor charge by 10%. So now we're looking at a 50 pound, 50 pound plus. So that's the extra that we're gonna take off that, 50 pound. And then we're gonna do 10% on this. So we're looking at 110 pounds. 110 pounds plus. So now we're looking at, um, 
We're looking at an extra, sorry, not 110 pounds. That's silly of me. Um, we're looking at an extra 10 pound plus on that 100 pounds because we're gonna put a 10 pound markup, which is 10%. So we're looking at a 10% on 500 pounds, which is your labor charge. We're looking at 100 pounds and we're gonna put 10% on, on that because these, this is your labor and this is your materials. So we're looking at an extra 60 pounds just by putting our prices up by 10%. That's on one job. So if you've done, if you've done 10 jobs of those on a monthly basis, you're looking at an extra 600 pounds in your pocket on a monthly basis for doing, for doing nothing, for doing absolutely nothing in your business other than adding 10% to your labor and 10% to your materials. Now, I wanted to give you this one because I, th I think this is quite, quite fitting with knowing your numbers and why your numbers are so important. Now, without knowing your numbers, you, you don't really know where you're at with this. You know, you need to know your numbers. So if you know your numbers and you can add an extra 10% to everything, look at, the, look at the results that you could achieve within your business. Now, that's only based on 10 jobs. What if you did 100 jobs a month? What if you did... 200 jobs a month. You just like, you know, you need to, you need to be thinking about how this works. And, and coupled with that, a lot of you now will be thinking, I can't put my prices up by 10%. I can't do that. That uh, the customers won't, you know, the, the customers won't have that. That is a limiting belief that you are telling yourself that, that, that the customers won't like that. Have you tried it? You probably haven't tried it. If you haven't tried it, you need to go and try it. Increase your prices by 10%. Increase your materials markup by 10%. And then you'll see some, some more profits in your business. So that's it for me. Take it from, take all of this on board. Understand why knowing your numbers is so important within your business and try implementing an extra 10%. Or if you're already at the max, try and implement another 5%. You're probably not at the max. You're probably telling yourself you're at the max. Try implementing an extra five or 10% in your business. Hope that's been helpful. That's it from me. Take care. Bye-bye.